what do slugs and I have in common? I mean, aside from a fascination with sex. Um, I suppose slowness, it's not a rushed lifestyle. The famous ethologist Conrad Lorenz, he said that in order to be an ethologist, you had to be a very lazy person because you have to sit there and let the animals do what they want to do on their own schedule. And it takes a special type of laziness to be a slug ethologist. We are at the Long Marine Lab, part of the Coastal Science Campus at uh, UCSC. Here I have sort of a little ranch of banana slugs. We rear them, look at life history parameters, and I run some behavioral experiments looking at mating behavior. Banana slugs have internal fertilization. They're simultaneous hermaphrodites where an individual is both male and female all day, every day throughout their life. I mean, they have a super long penis, probably not as long as some of the barnacles relative to body size, but yeah, they're, they're impressive. The libido of banana slugs leaves a lot to be desired. These guys, you very oftentimes don't get a copulation at all. And when you do, it can involve two hours or more of foreplay. And then they settle down to a two hour copulation. And so it's just not a rapid way to get data. It's a commitment of time. biology I do, it's sort of like being a poet or a musician. There are people that make a good living at it, but in general you do it because you want to, because you're fascinated with it. We get bits and pieces of money here and there. A lot of it is self-funded. It means I pay for it.